Hi, this is Nick on the 24th of June with my penultimate thought this week on the idea of building a business around your calling. Uh, today I want to touch on the idea of a kind of new, I would call it a new and pioneering work ethic, one of joy, one of inspiration, one of happiness. Um, I don't know about you, you know, the family you grew up in, but certainly the, the kind of programming I had growing up was that my job was to not expect to enjoy work very much, that success only came as a result of hard work, effort, struggle and sacrifice. And if I wanted to be successful, then I needed to make a lot of sacrifices, I needed to struggle a lot, I needed to suffer a lot. And somehow I would be rewarded with success as a, re as a reward for all those sacrifices that I'd made. And, and also I think there's this kind of work ethic that says, you know, then you can be rewarded. If you're suffering a lot, then you deserve the reward. So if you're working long hours and you're not enjoying it and you're under pressure and you're under stress, then at least you can say, boy, do I deserve the money. But when we're running our own business and we're doing what it is that we truly love to do and we're following our calling, at least at times, you know, perhaps not all the time, but at least at times, there is such a joy to what we're doing. There's a sense of inspiration to what we're doing. There's a sense of our just loving it and it not being hard work, it not being an effort, it not being a struggle. And I think as we follow that sense of joy, we discover depths of creativity in us, we discover our leadership gifts, we discover our capacity to inspire other people. We simply discover ourselves to be greater than we thought we were. You know, we discover, keep discovering new talents and new abilities and new gifts. You know, the language I use is, you know, as we follow our joy, we keep unwrapping ourselves. And sometimes that's easy, sometimes there's effort involved, but it doesn't have to be a struggle. So I think one of the challenges for us when we are following this um, <clears throat> work ethic of joy and inspiration and love is, you know, can we get paid? <laughs> You know, I know many of us, uh, you know, I certainly have struggled with that. It's almost like I, feel, I felt guilty. I, how dare I ask for money for doing something that I love doing, that gives me joy, that I would happily do even if I wasn't being paid for it. So I think for many people, there's that, because of that disconnect, they don't allow themselves to kind of have the joy, have the love, have the inspiration, be brilliant at what they do, and be well rewarded for it. So... You know, there's two elements here for me. It's like, well, three really. Give up the kind of old, what I call the Protestant work ethic of guilt, suffering and sacrifice um, around work. Secondly, pursue that sense of joy because I think it will be your North Star. That sense of joy and inspiration will be your North Star. And thirdly, allow yourself to receive and charge, obviously, because when we're running our own business, we actually often charge for our own work. You know, I did a bit of uh, coaching work last week for a, a PLC. Um, and I just had such a good time doing it and you know I put in an invoice and they paid it yesterday and part of me went well that was easy you know since spent three hours doing what I love really helping and serving somebody helping her step into her leadership and then get paid a fair amount of money for doing it how good is that but I think well you know <laughs> if I'm offering leadership and I'm offering pioneering in this area I need to embody that myself so um, I don't know if you can resonate with that I'd love your thoughts but I wish you a uh, a great rest of your day and love to hear your thoughts on a, a pioneering work ethic of joy and love and inspiration. All right, God bless. Have a good day. Bye-bye.